Sleep paralysis. You wake up, sort of. Your eyes flick open like a security camera rebooting, and your room looks off. Not wrong, just uncanny, like it was rendered by a new intern at the simulation studio. You try to move your arm, nothing. You try to scream, still nothing. And then, there it is. A shape, a shadow. A figure sitting on your chest like it just clocked in for its night shift as your personal anxiety demon. Your brain is awake, but your body is still stuck in REM sleep, where it's been gently paralyzed so you don't karate kick your dreams. But now the system's bugged, and the two halves of you are no longer in sync. This is sleep paralysis, your mind clocking in while your body is still on break. For thousands of years, people thought it was witches, demons, or ghosts sitting on their chests. Turns out it's just your brain holding the door open between dream world and meat reality and letting all the weirdness slip through. It's the most terrifying lag spike you'll ever experience. Brain zaps. You're walking down the street, sipping a coffee, scrolling through your phone. Everything is chill. Then suddenly, zap. Like a tiny lightning bolt shot across your brain or like someone tried to hotwire your consciousness with jumper cables. It lasts half a second, but it hits like a pop-up ad for neurological instability. This is a brain zap. They tend to happen during medication changes, especially antidepressants. But honestly, they can show up anytime your brain decides to update its firmware without warning. Some people describe them as static bursts, electric jolts, or the sound of your thoughts short-circuiting. The worst part? You can't really predict them, and science still doesn't fully get them. It's like your neurons were in the middle of sending a message and just went, oops, all static. Some theories point to serotonin withdrawal, others blame electrical misfiring. Either way, it's your brain briefly forgetting how to be a brain. Phantom Vibration Syndrome You swear your phone just buzzed. You felt it. On your thigh, in your pocket, maybe in your hand. You pull it out, check the screen. Nothing. No texts, no notifications, not even a passive-aggressive low battery warning. And yet, the buzz was real. Or, at least, it felt real. Welcome to Phantom Vibration Syndrome, the haunting that lives in your pants. It's not a ghost, it's just your nervous system running predictive software on your dopamine cravings. Your brain has learned to associate any small twitch of pressure or movement with a possible message. And since you're always expecting someone to text, ping, or tag you, it just invents the sensation. Think Pavlov's dog, but the bell is slack, and the drool is a desperate need for relevance. You're literally hallucinating feedback because your brain would rather be wrong than miss a notification. Hypnic jerks. You're drifting, falling into sleep like you're being cradled in the arms of an angel made of warm Netflix fuzz. Then, out of nowhere, boom! Your entire body flinches like you just got sniped in Fortnite. Your leg kicks, your arm flails, your brain lights up like, what just happened? That's a hypnic jerk, also known as a sleep start, or the body's most dramatic way of saying, nah. It usually happens right as you're about to fall asleep, when your heart rate and breathing slow down and your muscles start to relax. But your brain, in its infinite overcaffeinated paranoia, misreads that relaxation as death in progress and slams the emergency brakes. Some evolutionary theorists say it's a leftover from our tree-sleeping ancestors, a kind of anti-falling reflex to make sure you didn't plummet from a branch mid-nap. Now, we mostly just jolt ourselves awake and pretend we weren't almost dreaming about face planting into the void. It's the body's version of falling for no reason, because it it cares. Formication. There's something crawling on you, not just once, constantly. Little feet, tiny claws like ants marching under your skin. You scratch. Nothing there. You rub your arms. Still nothing. But the feeling persists, and it's enough to make you spiral. This is formication. And no, that's not a typo. It's the sensation of bugs crawling on or under your skin, and it's surprisingly common. It can be triggered by things like anxiety, menopause, stimulant withdrawal, or just plain old overclocked nerves. It's a glitch in the somatosensory matrix your brain receiving faulty touch data, like it's pulling up corrupted textures. Instead of telling you nothing's happening, it whispers infestation in high definition. For some, it becomes chronic. For others, it's a one-time horror show. Either way, your skin isn't the problem. It's your internal code running debug mode on maximum paranoia. Deja vu. You're walking through a hallway you've never seen before, in a building you've never entered, talking to a person you've just met, and suddenly you freeze. Wait, this happened already. This exact moment, down to the intonation of a word and the flicker of a light bulb. You know you've lived this before. That eerie glitch in the matrix? That's deja vu. It's your brain's version of a playback error, where short-term memory gets misfiled into the long-term section of your mental hard drive. So instead of new info, your brain flags it as nostalgia. Some think it's the brain running simulations just a little too fast. Others think it's a hiccup in memory processing, a signal that's duplicated and interpreted as familiarity. But for a split second, it feels like you've broken time. Maybe you have. Or maybe you're just a meat-based time traveler with a faulty compass. Exploding head syndrome. You're finally falling asleep. You've turned off the lights, turned on the fan, and turned down the volume on your racing thoughts. And just as you're crossing the border into unconsciousness, kaboom!
A noise so loud and sudden you think a bomb went off. You sit up, heart pounding, ready to fight. No one. Because it came from inside your head. That's exploding head syndrome. And no, your head doesn't literally explode. Sorry to disappoint. Instead, it's a type of parasomnia, sleep disorder, where your brain fires off phantom sounds as you're falling asleep. Loud bangs, crashes, even thunderclaps. No one knows exactly why it happens. Some think it's misfiring neurons in the brainstem. Others think it's a dream element breaking through too early, like a soundtrack glitch in a video game. Either way, it's startling, harmless, and usually leaves you wide awake and doubting your reality. Eye floaters. You're staring at the sky, zoning out midwalk, or spacing during a boring Zoom call, and suddenly you see them. Little strands, dots, cobwebs, drifting lazily across your vision. You try to focus on them, but they dodge like seasoned NPCs. These are eye floaters, not bugs in the matrix, but shadows. Tiny bits of protein or collagen floating in the jelly of your eyeball. When light enters your eye, they cast little shadows on your retina. That's what you're seeing. Not ghosts, not microbes, just biojunk. Floaters are normal, especially as you age. Your eye jelly gets a little less firm, a little more goopy, and bits of debris start floating around in it like space junk in orbit. They usually fade or sink out of view. But if they suddenly multiply, it might mean a retinal tear, which is less quirky glitch and more call your ocular emergency hotline. Until then, it's just your built-in HUD growing moss. ASMR. You're watching a video. Someone's whispering softly, maybe tapping on glass, brushing a mic, folding towels with the serenity of a monk who just discovered lavender. And then, it happens. A warm, fuzzy wave rolls down your scalp. Goosebumps ripple across your neck like you're downloading bliss in 4K. This is ASMR, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. A totally unintentional cheat code in your sensory system that triggers physical euphoria from nothing. No touch, no danger, no logic. Just sound, attention, and maybe a little digital intimacy. No one fully understands it, but some theories say it's linked to grooming behavior in primates. When someone you trust carefully combs your hair, your body releases endorphins. ASMR might be your brain confusing whispering strangers on the internet for emotionally bonded grooming partners. It's weird, it's soothing, and it's one of the few glitches that feels like a reward instead of a penalty. Your body just gave you a free serotonin buff for watching someone crinkle a wrapper. That's a win in any game. Bonus glitch. Muscle twitching. You're sitting perfectly still, minding your own business, when suddenly, your eyelid goes rogue, or your bicep decides to start thumping like it's trying to escape the party early. No warning, no context, just random Morse code in your flesh. This is benign fasciculation, a fancy name for your muscles firing off without asking permission. Could be from too much caffeine, not enough sleep, dehydration, or your neurons just feeling a little spicy today. It's harmless, but annoying, like your body installed a Twitch stream with no chat filter. And the more you think about it, yep, the more it twitches. Welcome to the paradox of awareness. Your brain noticing the glitch is the glitch. And that's your tour of the weirdest bugs in the human operating system. From misfired neurons to sensory hallucinations, the body you live in is not a finished product. You are not broken, just interestingly patched. So next time your body freaks out, just remember, you're not alone. You're just glitched, like the rest of us.